Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I Am I. My name is Joshua Ansley, and this week I'm going to talk about subtlety. <laughs> uh, if you've ever seen any one of my fucking videos, or if you know me in person, in, in person for real, as like a real human being, uh, subtlety is definitely not my forte. Right? So it's been interesting to even be talking about this because I look at it, understanding the spiritual journey, it is absolutely all about subtlety. Subtlety, subtlety, subtlety. It's subtler and subtler and subtler. That's actually what we're doing is working into subtler and subtler aspects of ourself. Right? So as we move back to that space of the self, the divine core of who we really are, right? it is imperceivable. Right? So it's it's so subtle. It's getting subtler and subtler and subtler to this place of being absolutely imperceivable. But we can proceed from the subtle to the gross using denser, grosser things, right? So understanding that the connection as it moves back. So again, like the five body system, the koshas, right? Understanding as we move into our bodies, as we move into an awareness, a mindfulness practice. Here's the thing. Let me just tell you that you have no fucking idea what you're doing. You have no idea why you do the things that you do. And I'm not saying that I do. I know that I have no fucking idea why I do the things that I do. Right? That's the only the, the, the advantage that I have in my life, not over you, but the advantage that I have over my old self, <laughs> is knowing that now I know that I don't have a fucking clue what the hell I'm doing. Right? But I do understand that as I move subtler and subtler into these spaces, it's if you understand that you get a mindfulness practice and you get an embodiment practice and you get into your body and understanding the subtlety and how the body moves and understanding once you have the knowledge and understanding that your emotions are connected to your body I mean it's very fucking obvious I talk about this a lot you know if I scare you and you go like this right your your body has a response to it you know so particularly if you have complex PTSD or if you probably don't even fucking know that you have complex PTSD you might just be out of your fucking mind right and the idea is that when you have prolonged experience into some hostile environment that sounds like a tough word but hostile but it's any sort of any any space where you do not feel safe any space where you do not feel safe you are going to be like this over time. It's going to be like this, and it's it's in everything, dude. It's in the fascia around your fucking muscles. It's around every single aspect of who you are, right? So as you get subtler and subtler, and understand that that the body has then a connection to the emotions, and the emotions, and you get subtler into the mental body, and understanding the the inner, you know, the the thoughts are creating these emotions and things like this as you get subtler and subtler and subtler it is not about bypassing to this place of being in the space of singularity right as I said last week the singularity includes the duality it does not exclude anything it is everything and it is nothing so it is inclusive of all the dense shit so as we move subtler and subtler and subtler this is I mean Ugh, it's a fucking philosophy of life. You gotta find your own fucking philosophy of life. But understanding it's, that it doesn't exclude anything. So that when we get, it's that space of getting to that subtle space where it's beyond everything and just sitting there, fuck that. I wanna come back into this space as well and include all of it. So sometimes you enjoy the subtlety of life, you enjoy the subtlety in art, right? But sometimes I like a good fucking punk rock song to just punch you in the fucking face, right? I like to curse a lot and just be a fucking, you know, outward and just be there and, and, and be not subtle. Be like, sometimes we need not subtlety, right? We need to be overt about it and just smack people in the fucking head and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Wake the fuck up, right? Sometimes. Because, I, and I have no idea when and how and where and what my responsibility is other than my own self and working on myself into subtler and subtler areas of my life, right? And as I do that, I can see my life is, is transforming in ways that, uh, there is so much magic in the subtlety. There is so much magic, it is fucking magic in that subtle aspect of life. And let me, let me express to you that like, these, these things like anger and frustration and these really tense places, right? They are not subtle at all. They are not subtle at all. But something like love, right? something like joy, something like peace and ease, 
these are these are subtler spaces that are just blown over they are just blown over in our daily lives so that's why a mindfulness practice or a breath practice or just coming there and sitting in stillness is so fucking important and your mind doesn't give a shit about it your mind's like I want to go over here and go over there and be like, this is bullshit. I got to do all these 10 other fucking things. And you know, when you're like, I don't have time for yoga, I don't, it is so imperative that you put that shit first, that this journey inward and understanding the subtler aspects come first. Otherwise you get lost in the gross. You get, will get smacked around by this fucking world. And if you're getting smacked around by this fucking world, then you need to get subtler and subtler and find that subtle space inside yourself and sift through it. It's not avoiding fucking any of it. It's sifting through every single little piece of it. And when you unfold that fucking puzzle, right, and you start to see subtlety, I'm telling you, my artistry is popping the fuck off on this record and stuff, right? And it's, it's just starting to happen. The outward starts to fall into place when you get your inward shit in order. When you take a look at all of it and you work subtler and subtler and subtler into those spaces, right? So it sounds kind of fucking cheesy, but it's literally stopping to smell the roses, right? It's getting into those spaces in our lives that we think, the mind thinks that all this other shit is important, this dense, gross shit is important. And it's not about denying that it's not there. Right? It is absolutely there. Again, in that space of singularity, this is there too. But we have to get that solid foundation. We have to get back into the subtlest of spaces that, that like I said, cannot be perceived. So that is the flaw with science and, and the space where it's only things that can be perceived. It just, it doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't understand how the most intelligent people, the most intelligent people, the intellectual people, had that, have, that cannot see that you're basing an entire understanding and a limited ability to perceive when we know that our perception is so fucking limited. Science itself tells us that. So how the fuck are you going to do that? That's asinine. I'm, I'm just speaking from the truth here. It's fucking ridiculous. The whole world is ass fucking backwards. I'm telling you, it's ass fucking backwards. And when you get to a good space and you're in a good place, right? There's always more to go. There's always more to go. There's always more to go. And it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm sitting out here in Asbury Park and I just came from playing uh, the Root to Rise organization, which is a fantastic organization in recovery and bringing yoga into recovery centers and jails and shit like that. And I did a little Shavasana, a little Alleluia Shavasana. And I came out here to do the vlog out on the beach and it's so weird because there's just so much overt shit happening here. Just And, and this is not a judgment, it's just interesting. It's like I'm just not a part of this world anymore. It feels very strange to me. It's it's very strange to, to be like, you know, I don't go to bars anymore and hang out in these spaces. And, and, and it really, it is without judgment, but it's just so foreign to me. And seeing the space of what happens when we're not facing things and we don't even know it. The whole world is delusional. Like myself included, I'm never, I'm never not in this, right? Like I, I just, the, 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 the subtlety that opens up when we start, when we stop avoiding and we don't even know that we're avoiding. That's the fucking problem, you know? I didn't fucking know until I had a complete mental breakdown. Until the shit had to smack me in the fucking face. That was not subtle. That was not subtle, right? My mental breakdown was not subtle. And if we don't work into these subtle spaces, eventually life will not be fucking subtle with you. Life will crack you in the fucking face, right? And then you're gonna have to do something about it and work into that subtlety. Start from the gross and working into the subtler and subtler places within ourselves. And working into that space of stopping and smelling the roses. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about now, except that I, because I'm not subtle, right? But as I bring that into my artistry, as I bring that subtlety into my artistry, I mean, it's amazing. And we, we think that people, you know, smelling fucking mushroom in wine and oh that's got an air of you know some people are fucking full of shit you know it's like oh the, this painting and be like well you can really feel that i'm like what no i just fucking slapped a bunch of shit on the fucking painting i don't know what the hell i was doing right but sometimes it's an understanding that in that subtlety there really is so much fucking beauty and if it, it doesn't even matter what the intention was behind with the artist or whatever, if it, bring, it evokes something in you, if there's a subtlety when you look into yourself and be like, what is this? What is this that's evoking in me, right? And we get back into these subtler places in ourselves. There's a whole, there's a whole 
billions of worlds to explore inward, as opposed to this one out here, and then we bring it out into the world. All right, I'm not saying anything of any fucking value right now, so. In Lakesh Lakin, I am you, you are me, namaste. Get fucking subtle. What? Too much?